today we are going to clipping uh, about 70 heifers. Uh, these will be the ones that are going for the sale the next day. Um, we have two guys clipping them, Michal Feeney and Sean Walsh. We are using a crate belonging to uh, Niall Barrett Engineering. Um, it's going to be tested today. There's a few big heifers going into it. I've never done this before, it's the first time we've done clipping heifers and something like that. So um, it'll be interesting to see how the lads get on. So uh, at the start of the year we had 100 heifers and out of the 100 heifers 91 of them stayed in calf. Um, we AI'd 69 of them and out of the 69, 51 stayed in calf. So our stock pulled in uh, was ran with the rest of them and obviously we let them out to grass and the 91 we sold the other 9 um, for whatever reasons they didn't go in calf. Um, issues with them inside. But apart from that, really happy with the way they worked out. Um, how they've done during the summer, um, at the start of the year we had plenty of grass. But obviously there was no growth for a while. Um, but the heifers have done very well. We, may, we, we did weigh some. Um, they averaged 140 kilos they put on. So them ones weighed between 720 to 740 kilos. Um, so really happy with what they've done. The main breeds we have is, as you can see, red limousine here. Um, we have some black limousines that we cross with Belgian blue. And there's a few coloured ones in it, um, a few Shirley's in it, a few Roans, not too many. We went more for a, a good suckler cow as opposed to a real fancy, shapey show cow. Um, and that's really what we have. Yesterday we tested um, all the heifers. Um, so. Obviously, we'll have the sale and hopefully in the 18th of October, provided we pass the test. Um, don't pass the test. Oh, this won't be worthwhile. But um, fingers crossed on Thursday, we won't have any lumps. And uh, we'll be all go for the 18th of October, 7 p.m. in January. The heifers have only been on grass. Um, grass is all that's received for the last, I don't know, 120 days. Uh, we have them in now. Um, we're going to keep some of them in because they're very bulky. Um, we're going to be feeding them hay for a bit, of, a bit of, for the next two weeks because uh, we want the next man to have them in good condition that they're able to calf them. Um, the rest of them are going back out to grass. Um, we'll bring them in again Thursday just to read the test. But they'll be staying out in grass then until the actual sale itself. They'll be getting minerals. Um, outside, uh, garlic lick buckets and uh, pre calfers. Um, so, the calf, when it is born, should be in 
healthy condition as well. Um, apart from that, there's nothing more we can do for the heifers. The first batch of heifers will be calf and from the 26th of October, and there'll be about 40 of them um, to the mid-November. And then the next batch, there'll be another 20, they'll be calfing from mid-November to towards the end of December. Um, and that's the, the 68 heifers that will be brought in to the sale the next day. Uh, we have the other ones that um, we have still here that we're not bringing to the sale. They're not calfing until January, February and March of next year. So we're going to sell them again later on in the year. Maybe at a times auction or something like that, as opposed to bringing them into the, the mart again. But that's when most of them will be calf, and then most of them are in calf to Tom Shoy's lexicon. The black heifers are in calf to EBY, and the coloured ones are in calf to EBY. And the Shirley's, um, I have a few of them in calf to Loyal, and then the rest of them will be our own stock. So just say thanks to Niall Barrett for uh, loaning us the cattle crate um, for clipping the cattle um, I have to say it's a great piece of equipment um, the heifers weren't overly excited one or two did get excited about it but um, any man who has a decent herd should have one of these um, I am considering pulling out my whole crush and putting in a new one and um, definitely getting one of these and if there's a grant for Tams 2 in it We'll definitely be going that way. Um, you can remove the bars so you can get access to the heifer shaving their bellies and uh, even for sections. The lads having an operation. Great job. And, uh, yeah, very well made. I'm very happy with it. And actually, been to bear on the heifers. But apart from that, um, great piece of machinery. Well worth getting it for the day anyhow, that's for sure.